This is a greater thrust to weight ratio than any known jet fighter that we've come across, so I am only scraping the surface in terms of what's possible. My name is Richard Browning. I am the founder and chief test pilot from Gravity, and we build and fly these 1,000 horsepower jet suits. So today we're in Brighton in the UK. We are gonna try and set a new speed record, a speed record in a jet suit. We did this in 2017, and it, we set it about 32 miles an hour, some months after launching the company. We've come on a long way since then, so we're hoping to significantly improve that. It's gonna be a, a league away from where we were in 2017. Uh, inside the suit, there's a huge amount of changes, but the most visual differences will be we've got a Ram Air leg wing uh, and two little straight-like fins on my feet. Between them, they help lift the legs and give me a whole load of directional stability, uh, and they really help uh, you know, achieve a much higher speed. But inside the suit, it's all now 3D printed, it's all now much more sophisticated than it was two years ago. I'm really pleased with today. I've done 75 miles an hour before, kind of privately in testing. I had hopes that we could get into the 70s here, you know, on the day, in the conditions that were going to be whatever they were going to be, but to go then even 10 miles an hour faster than I've ever been before, couldn't be happier. That's just the beginning. We can go way faster. This is 1,050 horsepower. This is pushing 144 kilos of thrust. This is a greater thrust to weight ratio than any known jet fighter that we've come across. So I'm only scraping the surface in terms of what's possible. But our whole ethos is kind of doing this in, in rapid but steady increments. I think we could get to the kind of levels that a wingsuit parachutist gets to, um, having jumped out of an airplane, you know, 150, 180 maybe. But we're gonna do that in steady, sensible kind of steps. The 85 is pretty good for now. The sparklers on the leg, yeah, we thought it would look kind of dramatic. It does seem like most people watching thought I had some very weird technical problem. Um, we were worried that, you know, I'm a little speck over a grey ocean, so we thought it'd be quite fun to see what it looked like. But um, and it was quite fun as well, because that wasn't me setting it off. I wasn't even aware of them going off. Uh, that was somebody in my crew detonating them remotely. So uh, I'm glad it worked as well as it did. Yeah! <laughs> okay, thank you.